NASA is investigating an unexpected explosion during its latest rocket booster test. NASA Northrop, Northrop Grumman fired up the booster, but not everything went as planned. Fox 35's Esther Bauer looks into how this could affect future missions to the moon. Activate after luge. Activated. Whoa. The engineers were caught off guard seeing sparks fly in Utah last week during Northrop Grumman's solid rocket booster test flight. So it does appear that the failure initiated somewhere around that nozzle. Um, so it's quite likely that there was some sort of an issue there uh, with this new configuration. The issue happened about 100 seconds into the test. Mission specialists had to let the booster finish the burn. It's kind of like a firecracker. You light it and it's going to go. You know, there's no way to stop it. Northrop Grumman and NASA do want to stop the explosion from happening again. Florida Tech space expert Don Platt says these SLS boosters are proven to work. They've been used since the shuttle era, but engineers are updating the technology. Um, they're using the same technology, but they've basically stretched these boosters, if you will. So they've made room for another entire segment, so that means there's even more propellant. Northrop Grumman acknowledged the anomaly. The company said in a statement, while the motor appeared to perform well through the most harsh environments of the test, we observed an anomaly near the end of the two plus minute burn. As a new design and the largest segmented solid rocket booster ever built, this test provides us with valuable data to iterate our design for future developments. Good news is this shouldn't play too much of a role in in the Artemis 2, but it is right. too soon to tell how it could affect the future flights. Yes, that's very much true. And um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that they're going to find some sort of an issue that they may have to do some sort of redesign. The test produced more than 4 million pounds of thrust. The booster is being upgraded, and tests like this are crucial to not only take astronauts back to the moon, but also deep space. Reporting in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.